Guys, what's happening? How you doing? Hello. We are doing. We are going about it. We are getting on with it. <laughs> First of all, I want to say I am so excited to be talking to you guys, being as though I was able to be in that reaction video. So thank you so much for that. Oh, yes. my God. You're welcome. <laughs> How excited were you to hear your song on the biggest radio station in the country? Oh my gosh, I totally blanked and I didn't know what you meant when you said reaction video, and but now, now I, I remember and I'm and connecting oh my the dots. God. I literally was freaking the F out. I was like, Listen. what is my life right now? What is happening? It was, was it just doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Why us? Why us? Well, here's the question. Why not you guys? I feel like you guys have been grinding, you know, from a duo to a trio. You know what I'm saying? Like, why not you? Hey, you know I what? Like you did that. that. I like EJ, that. You're right. Why Listen, not I'm trying to help you guys out. Why not you? The, this is hey. definitely your, your, your year, being as though 2020 has been a dumpster fire. Let's talk about the song, <laughs> 2020. <laughs> Huh? A dumpster fire. Oh, yeah, dumpster fire. I like that. I like oh, 100%. That. A dumpster fire. So let's talk about the song, TikTok. And then when did you guys realize that you had to go back in there and, like, create a whole entire song from it? Mm, literally the next day when we woke up and it had, like, 5 million views and it wasn't mm -hmm. stopping and we were, like, uh, 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 like, I just kept uh, refreshing the TikTok feed and it just kept, like, the views and the likes kept coming in. I was like, literally, what is happening? I don't know what's going on. Yeah, so we, we were like, huh, maybe we should finish the song and, like, put it out. <laughs> I don't know. And then that's what we did. How'd you guys come together and write that? Mm, it started with Savannah. Yeah, yeah, I was just having the worst week ever and then Sam called me saying that Sammy's cat Gumbo had died. And Aww. I was like, this is too much. This no, is just so outrageous at this point. And I just got up on the mic and freestyled the first verse and chorus. And, and now look at it. So you guys saw that it was blowing up and you guys sat down. You were like, all right, we need to make an actual song. How does that process work? Because I get so fascinated with people when they are writing songs and whatnot, because I feel like I would not be able to do that. So how do you guys come together and make that happen? I think for us, like the lyrics just come, I think, this happens when with every song we write. The lyrics are just what we speak when we go into the writing room and just talk about the idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we just find a way to fit it into, like, a cool melody and make it sound dope. Yeah, we, we've all known each other for so long, so we're able to, like, really speak freely and emotionally with each other and without judgment, so it really does kind of help the process, like, getting thoughts and feelings into song form. It's like a therapy session. You yeah. Know? Yeah. I didn't think about that. Writing songs is like therapy. It really is. Oh, yes. Huh. We've, we've been through many, many a crap. To... Like what? Oh, oh gosh. God. Attempting to date, failing. Attempting, uh, <laughs> talking about our own mental health issues. Um, first time which I tried writing a song was, what? I said, which is important. So important. So yeah. important. Yep. A few right. years ago, uh, we were like writing a song about my parents' divorce and like got super emotional about it. Like, that, like there is there is no there are no limits to what we'll try to tackle together do you guys feel like writing right now of course during like the quarantine and of course 2020 do you think it's been an easy process or has it been hard um both yeah both. It's, it's been a shift uh i think that's that's the case for most creative people right now is you know usually what you do is you you go out into the world you have your experiences mm -hmm. you come back in the room you write it out but um, you know, you can still do that, but you just have to find something to substitute the going out in the world and having experiences. So I think a lot of self, yeah, um, creativity has kind of taken a shift to be more like introspective on yeah. the whole, but everybody's dealing with it differently. Right. How are you guys handling just staying in the house? Are you guys living together? Mm -mm. No, I mean, we all live separately, but we just come to Savannah's every day for work. Yeah. <laughs> get up, get in my car, drive to Savannah's and then drive home later. <laughs> Well, I think that's cool that you guys aren't, like, on top of each other at all times. You know what I mean? Yeah, we all live by ourselves, so it's like... We lived together when we moved to Nashville for, like, two years, and that was enough. It was enough. Yep, it was enough. We made it through. We didn't kill each other. We got, then, then we were like, this is good. We're when, when, when you guys were living together, did you guys realize that we can't do this? Like, this is... No. It was mm -hmm. like... We, I don't think we really realized how hard it was on us until, like, we actually, like, weren't living together anymore. And then we're like, oh my God, why are we doing that? <laughs> why did like, we do why that? Are we, why are we trying to like, share a bathroom? Actually, that was so dumb. Yeah, it's like we actually hang out and, like, 
like enjoy being friends. Yeah, we have so, like, like now we have like quality time where yeah. we like well we used to like go out and go to Cheesecake Factory or right. go out for a drink together. And, rip. Yeah. Rip. Well, Nash Nashville's not that closed down. What the bars are closed down, restaurants. I mean, it's, it's yeah, open, no, it's like, it's still happen. It's still yeah. it's still happening and happening. You can go, but you shouldn't. <laughs> mm -hmm, absolutely not. So in the spare time, you guys are doing what? When you guys aren't writing music, you guys aren't with each other. Oh, you're gosh. you're on your separate ways. What are you guys doing? I'm playing Sims. <laughs> I used to play it as a as a child and would like intentionally set the house on fire because i'm a crazy person no, that's what everyone is saying because isn't it a thing that like then if you like go to like mid if you fast forward to like midnight sometimes the ghosts of your sim yeah walk around exactly that that's why you do it i know it's spooky the fact that we are setting our cartoon characters on fire is this crazy is on the inside, okay? god, <laughs> god complex the video game <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Um, what are you guys watching right now? Um, New Girl mostly. New Girl always. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, That's it? We watch Outer Banks. What else do we watch? <gasps> I'm obsessed with this show called Love on the Spectrum because it's the most wholesome thing I've ever seen. I watched that life. the other day. It's so cute. I want to talk about um, the song, I Don't Like Your Boyfriend. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I have I have a ton of questions. All right, ready? Number one. Number number one, when you are in that situation, do you even tell your friend or do you just let it take its course? I know what I would do. Oh, what would you guys do? We, we sent it. Yeah. You copy the link to the song and then you send the song with no no caption. Yep. We yeah, we because like we like, we're all so close, and we've always had, like, issues with the person that one of us dates. We're like, you're not good enough for my friend. And so we've mm. always, like, been so weird about that. We've now learned the method, which is voice your concern, and then shut up about it, and just be there for your friend. See, I feel like because I'm the person, and you're the person that has to sit here and clean up the mess, the, when, the per <laughs> when the person does what you say that they're going to do, so at, at a certain point, you're just like, see, that's what you get. You should have been listening anyway. You know that's what I mean? Yes! Yeah. Well, it's your job to tell them what they're doing is wrong, and then when they don't listen don't to you. Listen, then you can be like, I told you so, I still love you, but we're going to move on. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, are, oh, you, are you needing to send a song to somebody right now? Like, no, I needed to send a song to one of my friends who was uh, dating this person, and she would, like, I saw her coming, and I'm a Pisces too, so I feel like I have that, that uh, sixth sense, so oh I God. saw her coming a mile away, and I was like, bruh, that ain't it, chief. Sure enough, <laughs> she, done, she done, like, ran all the game on him. Oh. She Pisces him out. Right, and then, and he's like, oh, she was bad, and I was like, you think? I've been trying to tell you that she was terrible. <laughs> awful god oh awful gosh. so you just send the link and then you just keep it moving yep you, you send the link you keep it moving yep. and then and then if they do end up breaking up because of the song you tell us so we can keep, keep our break tally. yeah we keep a tally you do oh yeah i think we only have three right now but you know hoping to hoping to get more hoping to end some more toxic relationships i love a good um to end a good toxic relationship yes we love that mm. so what else do you guys have uh coming out Mm. Oh boy. I think we want to make an album next. We have so many songs just like chilling there. Yeah. So very many. What are what's something that you're looking forward to in uh 2021? Ooh. I don't know what to Hope. expect in 2021. I mean, okay, I'm going to be cautiously optimistic with this. Getting mm -hmm. back out on the road in some to play music in some capacity. Yeah, there you go. Cautiously optimistic. But I don't want to I'm too scared to jinx anything because I did say 2020 was going to be our year. I mean, it kind of is. Kind of? It, but and you're not <laughs> wrong. And you're not wrong. <laughs> 2020 was definitely good for you guys. Bad for <laughs> us. Good for you guys. <laughs> we can all share in the joy. <laughs> the worse it gets, the more popular the song gets. You know what? No, no. I'm, I'm not going to wish that into the world. No. I want the world to go back to, I want the world to get better. I don't want our song to be big if it means the world gets worse. No. What are, so what do you guys listen to right now? What are you listening to? Mm. Oh, gosh. Mm. Dominic like, Fike. <laughs> oh, Dominic Fike. You like mm. Mm. Ariana Grande, mm. always. Always and forever. Mm. Um, I'm, I'm always just listening to Hosier. Just sad girl hours. I need to. Are it's, you it's emo? What? Are you emo? 
Are you emo? Like, <laughs> like, 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 emo light? Like I oh yeah. Emo light. I have green hair. I listen to Hosier, but it's under control. We're fine. It's an under control situation. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> well, guys, I appreciate you. I appreciate you jumping on and chatting with us. This has been a great chat, and I cannot wait until all of this is over, until you guys yes, are able to come into the studio and let, and yeah, let yeah. us come visit, please. <laughs> oh, you can definitely come on out to LA. Oh, gladly, bet. I love, I love LA. LA. Yeah, I love guys, LA. thank you. Thank, oh, you. thank you so much. It was nice to meet you.